welcome to the continuation of this adventure to try to catch the giant alligator gar black to page we're out with Hayden today going out in this bass boat we're at a different location today we've only got about four and a half hours till we gotta start getting Josh going towards the airport so this is our last chance to be a hero we've already caught the alligator gar if you missed that video or videos you can go check those out links down below but they weren't the giants that you typically see so we are trying to go after that real big one Josh is telling me that this is a harder fish to catch than tarpon I wouldn't know because I still haven't hooked a tarpon this fish has a very bony mouth very hard if you missed all of that explanation go check out the other videos but this is a this is a hard fish to catch and it's a quest but we got a beautiful morning right here and I, I'm feeling good I'm feeling really good about it what about you guys I'm feeling good Josh is using his saltwater techniques with that uh, butterflied mullet. Basically just a, uh, a mullet laid on both sides. It's just flapping out there. It's got some, some wings. I don't know, he seems to think their lateral lines are gonna feel it. I think they're just gonna smell it. Anyway, maybe it'll catch the big one. Hayden, you and me have been fishing, fishing a little bit lately. Yep. You've been fishing out here a long time though, around these these parts, Trinity River and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Uh, I've seen like trucks in the bottom of the river on the side scan, washing machines, TVs, dishwashers, you name it. I've seen it out here. All the goods. All the goods. Nothing, nothing like no dead bodies or anything. I've been fortunate enough to never come across a dead body. Hey, it's a matter of time. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Like a long time ago, 15, 20 years ago, back in the day, uh, Pop Belly's dad used to come down here a lot, and they they like tied him up and like had him like held hostage, like tied up down here and stuff. And they tied him up. Yeah. Yes, very poisonous. Water moccasin, probably. They what? They tied him yeah, up. Yeah, like tied Why? up. Why? It's just, like, just crazy river ass people out here, dude. <laughs> got three gar lines out right now, and I got one catfish rod. I got some big catfish in the river too. That might be cool to catch. We're just seeing them roll. Seen him come up for air. The elusive dinosaur like gar. There goes another one. Oh, my rod's, my, rod, my catfish rod's getting bit right now. I can see it. All right, we got a fish on. This is the same rod, the same fish that knocked your, your rod over a minute ago. Yeah, it almost, almost lost its Stella, guys. It's, it was kind of scary. We've been playing this game for days. We've learned. You just gotta let them really, really eat it. So we're literally just sitting here and we're just talking. We're just relaxed and we're letting the fish just take the line, take the line, take the line. Is that the fish calling? Is he My letting brother. You know he has the bait? Yo, dude, I got a fish on. I got to call you back, okay? I got a fish on. I got. I, got, I have to let you go, bro. We want this fish so bad, guys. We've had that taste of defeat in our mouth. And we just want to get this fish. I don't care how big he is. Yeah, I just want to I, see it. I, I want to hold it. It has to be over 50 pounds. I think, well, we saw it come up. It's over 50 pounds. I didn't see it. I just want to hug it with you and just, wow. we'll just have like a group hug with a gar. I'm just going to have smell like him? a big scream. Oh, of course I'm going to smell him. Just not too close to his snoot. The rope is coming out. This fish is on the bank right now, sitting still. It's trying to eat Josh's bait. It keeps coming up for air a little bit, so we're keeping our distance so it doesn't see us. So they got those eyeballs right on the side of their head. When they come up, they can see what's going on. So we're keeping our distance. This fish is definitely eating the bait. And Hayden's getting the rope out right now. And Josh is just letting the fish eat. Doing his famous thing. Let him eat, let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. Mm -hmm. All right, back. I'm gonna get us on the trolling motor here. Look at my feet, guys. Look, how, look at that. This is no beautiful beach. You know, pristine waters. This is down here in Tejas, man. Down here where the Indians used to roam on the muddy river, Arrow muddy heads. water with giant, ugly, nasty fish. Just the way they roll and the way they breathe air, and it's just like a tarpon. A tarpon eats a lot better and more efficiently than these things though, I'll tell you that. These things are way harder, like exponentially harder than a tarpon to hook. It's saying a lot coming from a guy that catches a lot of tarpon. 
And I love catching tarpon. About to get a muddy water toothy tarpon. I know, man. It might even come up and jump. I don't even know. I've never hooked one of these big things. Who knows what it's gonna do? The good news is we got a really open area right here. Whereas like yesterday, we were fighting them in logs and stuff. Trees, logs, rocks. Tough obstacle course. So right now we've got a nice open situation where if we do get this big one hooked up, it's gonna, gonna run and we'll be okay. Ideally, like you want the fish to take the bait, he's gonna run 100 yards, a couple hundred yards or so, and then turn and start coming back up river and stop. And that's when he's getting it down. This well, he's eating it right now. Feel good about it, reel down and stick him. I'm giving her, I'm gonna give her, let's say uh, three more minutes. I'm roll. I'm roll. We're gonna do like a slow hook set, basically, until we, until we get tension and then sticking. I almost feel like these fish were like super intelligent, like they knew, they knew our thoughts basically, but now I think, I think we got this one guys, I really do. Here we go, we're gonna do big this. moment. Let me get out of the way. Re just reel it up. No, you're coming in. You're okay where you are. Ready? Okay. You ready? Here we go. Got him? No. Oh! He wasn't even dead. He never ate it. He never ate it, I'm telling you. Like, I, I didn't feel any pressure. All I felt was the, the, the slack. Pulled it right out. The fish was too small. I think he was just playing with I, it. I don't think he was too small. Because he couldn't... I, I never even felt it. Like, 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 like yesterday when I, when I did that on the one fish, I, I felt his... I felt it in his mouth. I felt nothing. That fish was that fish was, that fish was too small in my opinion. Who knows? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> yeah, baby. Might I might just do a little catch and cook. Oh, we got a turtle, baby. We got a soft shell. These are good eating. Oh, we got turtle. Oh my gosh, dude, delicious. Hey, this is a, this is rare. This is a rare, rare turtle right here. Oh man, we're doing a live stream right now and we got a soft shell turtle. Oh, we got it. Oh, we caught a turtle. Yeah. Look at that. Is that an Aphalone? That's an Aphalone spinifera, dude. Here. Dude, look at that. Give me, give me look at that nose. Thing. He'll bite you, dude. He'll bite you. He'll he doesn't. Bite you. Oh, jeez. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't have a super sharp. He's got enough to bite you, and if he's got bad, bad, bad bacteria on him, he'll mess you up and you go in the hospital. All right. Bro, I'm trying to help you, buddy. Hold look on. at that hog nose. Here. Grab it on this end. <laughs> there we go. What's up? What's up? Look at him. Dude, he's nice. Look at him, dude. He's got that, look at that little nose. Right Yummy. There. Mm. Look at those pretty, those pretty eyes, man. That's actually my first soft shell ever. Dude. They're kind of elusive. Catch and cook, baby. No, we're not doing catch and cook. We're no. going to let this guy go. Right. Watch how fast he is. I know he's, they're fast. These right? guys are really fast. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Look, look at that go. speed, look baby. Speed. That's my PB soft shell. I just want to say it takes a lot of skill. Hey, are you going to thank all your sponsors, dude, for catching this soft shell? You, you I do. You I can do it without your sponsors, dude. I'd like to thank Cream of Wheat. Um, get my day started today. Uh, I want to thank Ocean Spoon Girl for those cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Gave me the energy. And, uh, you know, I couldn't I couldn't do it without uh, localshad.com. Localshad.com? Localshad.com. Oh, Hooked man. me up with the bait today. All right, we got another fish on. It's been on the line for probably five minutes. And it's taken line about 50 yards down the river. And then we're gonna get in the boat and then we're gonna go out and then try to attempt again to get this thing. We're really taking our time here. We gotta get Josh going here in about an hour, which would be, if we caught this fish, this would be perfect timing. All right, we're getting in the boat now and we're gonna go chase this fish. Some of you may be thinking, look at him this is look, so look, look silly. At him, look at him moving across the river. Look at, look at him moving. Oh, he's moving. Some of you may be thinking it's so silly to, uh, to be waiting for this. This, you know, you're like, set the hook, set the hook. Trust me, we tried it, it doesn't work. Hayden's been doing this a long time. He's caught a lot of big gar. The key is patience. Just let him run with it. Sometimes it takes an hour for him to eat. I really hope we get this fish. The, uh, the disappointment factor of chasing this one down after chasing many and then it not being there would be, hmm, shall we say, a little more than disappointing. But if it comes together, this is gonna be epic. No trees over there, right? Oh gosh, look at that freaking tree, dude. That's bad. If he gets close to it, you're gonna snatch him. Well, he's getting close to it. I think 
keep eating, dude. He's still going down. He hasn't started coming back up. He just he did miss that tree though. See, now we're gonna be right here on top of it. Yeah. This is not good. There's a leader. Fish is right here, dude. We're well, I'm gonna set it then, dude. Here we go, ready? Fish, got him. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> hey, you got him, dude. I thought he was way bigger. That face, bro, disappointment. You thought your fish was a giant. <laughs> you should make that a meme when you thought your fish was a giant. Dude, ballsy, bro. Here, put him on the deck. Put him on the deck right here. Watch out, because he's going to go to flopping and we got hooks everywhere. Yeah. And we're all barefooted. Let him go. Ooh. I don't like where I'm at. <laughs> Get on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, guys. Alligator Gar, baby. Dig it. Nice. He's, got, he's smiling for you. Ooh, oh. he's got some chompers, baby. <laughs> he's got some chompers. He's probably about 30 pounds. It's a nice fish, man. Look at that. That's so awesome. Yeah, you Ooh. don't want to mess with that. You don't want him biting you, dude. He would mess you up. Ooh. Awesome. Josh, you did well, man. I you did. did well. You played that one really I well. I thought he was bigger. I know. We lie. thought it was bigger. But you know, hey, look at this. Look at this fin. That looks like a Goliath grouper pectoral fin, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Paddle tail. Thought this fish was 80 pounds. Turned out to be 25. But we're gonna let him go. He's a beauty. There he goes, into the depths. He was a little disappointed when it first came up. You know, for this time crunch, I gotta say that was a clutch fish. Let's rip it, come on. Hold on. Let's rip it. We don't want to be ripping the motor off. Yeah, we can rip the motor off. That'd be yeah. bad. Why is your motor so trimmed up? Tuck that in. in. Jorgensen, your first Texas experience has come to an end. What did you think about our great state? I think it's awesome, dude. I, th I saw more deer last night than I have seen in my whole life. How do you like chicken fried steaks? Oh my gosh. Come on, can we go get one on the way home? Let's bring one on the airplane. They were delicious. All right, we're back at the ramp. It's time to take it in. Get old Black Dip H to the airport. Glad he finally made it out here to Texas though, and we both caught our personal best gar on this trip. Didn't quite get that giant though. I'm thinking about bringing Ocean Spoon Girl out here. I don't know what you would think about this. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea. If enough of you comment, we'll drag her out here on the river and see what we can do. If you wanna go check out the uh, the gar adventures, the, the gar fishing really heats up in the hot weather. So as the hotter it gets, the better. You can go check out uh, Hayden's Guide Service Sawgrass Outfitters. Uh, link will be down in the description. He's also got a YouTube channel and an Instagram. They'll be down there. And go check out Black Tip H. He's on the big fish all the time. Yeah, buddy. And I'm glad you came out here to Texas, buddy. Me too, man. It's can't good wait to have to, you out uh, here. Can't wait to get one of those giants done, man. That's just that's, that's hey, what I'm thinking about right now. You know what? You know how many times I've been to Florida to try to catch those sharks on top water and amberjacks? Yeah. It's just the adventure continues. It all, that's it's true. all it is. That's true. It's the saga. It's the fishing saga. So follow it. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channels, and thank you guys for tuning in and watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. Later.